Good morning, Wazilla. Today is January 31st. I'm Joe Kotke. And I'm Lydia Johnson. Let's get started. Seniors, visit the Jocelyn's website to order your cap and gown. The order deadline is tomorrow, February 1st. Come and celebrate Crepe Day. French Club is this Thursday, February 2nd in A414. Please pay on ePay to attend. Driver's Education's next class is fast approaching. Don't wait and be left out. The floor offices have detailed information on registration and dates. Seniors, check your emails every day to find out more about all of the local scholarships that are available. Most of the applications are due February 10th. Pick up your scholarship packets in the CCC and contact Mrs. Musser if you have any questions. Club YES members, return, remember to turn in your semester one volunteer hours in the Club YES by the end of the month. Attention all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. If you enjoy science and the great outdoors, look for a new science course called Geology of Minnesota in the 2017 to 2018 registration guide. There's a Club YIS meeting this Wednesday, February 1st at 3.20 p.m. and Thursday, February 2nd at 7.30 a.m. in B204. All Club YIS members are encouraged to attend a meeting and to bring a pair of gently used or new shoes. Shoes will be donated to the Shoe Away Hunger Campaign. There's a Trojan Leadership Council meeting on February 1st at 7.40 a.m. in the Media Center classroom. Your attendance is important to this meeting. Now let's go over to Maggie with character card. The character card winners for Tuesday, January 31st are Raphael Dubow, a 10th grader, and Caroline Humpkin, a 11th grader, for building and sustaining positive relationships. Both were nominated by their peers. Congrats, guys. Yeah. Now back to the anchors. Hey, Tripp, so I heard the boys in hockey took a home bad win on Saturday. No, they actually lost, Joe. Oh. <laughs> boys hockey was defeated by Eden Prairie on Saturday, 8-2. to two. Junior Grant Anderson led the Trojans with two points on the night, one assist and one goal. This moves the Trojan record to 6-12 and 12 on the season, with only seven games remaining. In other news, Alpine Ski dominated the late conference on Thursday, taking first place in the late conference skate pursuit. Junior Anders Sonneson took first place overall. And wrestling defeated Edina on Thursday as well, 69 to 6. This makes our Trojans 12 and 6 thus far, with seven meets left in the regular season. And boys swim and dive took third place overall at their true team state meet, coming in behind Stillwater and Minnetonka. They're competing at the U of M Aquatic Center. Congratulations to the boys. Gymnastics traveled to Breck on Friday night and took fifth place against multiple other schools. Their next meet will be next Tuesday. The NBA reportedly reached out to the State Department following President Trump's Muslim ban. Essentially, the league is concerned with stars like Luol Deng, who was born in Sudan. He should not be deported, citing a federal judge who granted reprieve for visa holders, saying that people with valid visas could not be detained. The question that remains is if Deng was to travel to Toronto for a game, would he be admitted back into the United States? We'll see. Now let's ha see who's having a happy, happy birthday. Juniors and sophomores can visit Hennepin Technical College on February 14th during first and second blocks. Students will ride a bus to HTC. Permission forms can be picked up in the College and Career Center in B202. The deadline to sign up is February 13th. Contact your counselor if you have any questions. 
Club YIS volunteers are needed as leaders for the upcoming Greenwood Kindness Retreat on Friday, February 3rd. If you are able to volunteer to, for this event, stop by the Club YIS office on second floor. Attention 321 team, there will be no practice this Thursday. We'll start practice again on February 9th. Contact Mrs. Iverson with any questions. Freshmen with the last names OS to Z, please report to gym 7 and 8 on Wednesday during my time. Please remember that attendance is taken and you are required to attend your link crew my time activity. We look forward to seeing you. Skills USA will meet this Thursday the 1st at 3.20 in D216. Sign up to take the national French exam by February 10th on ePay. The cost is $10. The test is March 16th. See your French teacher for more details. Lit Mag submissions now open. Submit art, poetry, and stories to the Lit Magazine. The deadline is Friday, February 3rd. Questions? See Mrs. Reganier. Now let's go learn why you shouldn't come to school sick. Got a plate. Guys, I made it. Kaya, what are you doing here? It's testing. You should go home if you're sick. Yeah, but this is a big test. Kai. Tests can always be remade. Go home. You're gonna get everyone sick. Let's go! You're right. I'm taking the tissue box with me. Hey Caroline, what's going on in the news today? A couple interesting stories this morning. President Trump has fired Attorney General Sally Yates over issues regarding the travel ban. According to White House officials, Yates was fired for, quote, refusing to enforce a legal order designed to protect the citizens of the United States, unquote. According to CNN, new Attorney General Dana Boent was sworn in last night and almost immediately issued a statement revoking Yates' order and instructed all Department of Justice lawyers to, quote, defend the lawful orders of our president. Unquote. Six were killed in a shooting at a mosque in Quebec Sunday evening after a gunman entered and began firing randomly into a crowd of men, women, and children. According to CNN, five are still recovering from gunshot wounds, but the 39 others present were not hurt. Authorities have stated they believe this to be an act of terrorism. Footage has been released showing the inhumane treatment of pigs from a farm that supplied several food giants, including Hormel and Cargill. According to GoMN News, Hormel Foods has issued an official statement saying they have suspended all business with the farm until a thorough investigation is complete. That's all I have for news. On behalf of the Wise Technical Crew, Trip Lavely and Kai Christensen, I'm Caroline Hansen. I'm Joe Kotke. And I'm Lydia Johnson. Have a great day, Wise How many people do you think are killed on Minnesota roads each year? Thousands? Hundreds? I don't know. Uh, 200. 10,000? Somewhere in the hundreds. Uh, 3,000. Probably several hundred. I think 100. 350? Mm, 500. 200,000 maybe? Maybe a couple thousand? Maybe 100. 300? What is the leading cause of car crashes? Texting and driving. Probably texting. Texting, maybe drunk driving. Um, probably texting or eating. Texting and uh, while you drive? Drinking while you drive? Um, I would guess uh, inattention. I know distractions are a big deal and um, alcohol. Driving and drinking or texting and driving. Will we see a day when there are no fatalities on Minnesota roads? Not really possible, I don't think, but hopefully. It'd be nice. I would hope so. Man, as much as I'd like to say, yeah, I mean, it's pretty impossible to have zero. Hopefully. Mm, pretty unlikely, I'd say. No. Unfortunately, no. I wish there was, but I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think it's, uh, it's unreasonable. I think it's possible. Um, I'd like to think so. <laughs> that would be the best dream ever. I hope so. I hope so. So maybe next year, next month. What would be a good goal? 50. 20? A couple hundred? 
5,000 maybe. If we could bring it down to less than 100, I'd be, be great. Five, maybe, uh, probably a few hundred. Around a good number, probably around 100 at least. I think maybe around 30 or so. I'd like to see it less than, you know, 10,000, somewhere around there, but I don't know how high the numbers are, so I don't, I don't know.